Tibwa is a village like many in the countryside of Haiti. Most of the residents are farmers who cook their food over three rock fires. That is, they did until they learned an improved way to cook their food. Using local materials of clay and organic matter, people are building their own stoves, neighbors helping neighbors. By following directions carefully, the people in the village of Tibwa are changing the way they cook. It is a big change. It is different from how their ancestors have cooked for generations. The people of Tibwa saw a new idea that could benefit them and quickly and willingly adopted a beneficial change. Tibwa stoves use a small piece of wood to cook a whole meal of beans, rice, sauce, and vegetables. No longer does smoke make cooking a painful experience. This is wonderful progress. We compliment the people of Tibwa. Even with the improved stoves, every day people of Tibwa are gathering wood from the fields to cook their meals. They have to go farther and farther from home to find wood and use smaller and smaller pieces. There are less trees on the hillsides every year, trees that once protected the soil from the rain and trees that feed the people of Tibwa have been cut down and not replanted. In years past, the hills around Tibwa did have trees. John told us how there were Chen, Kampesh, Kandilon, Bwakabrit, all variety of trees, they were all there. When farmers burn their gardens before turning the ground in preparation for planting, they are removing nutrients and protective cover for the soil. Animals damage gardens and trees, but many people do not realize that animal feed also loosen the soil and increase in erosion. Rains wash away fertile soil from the unprotected hillsides. Rivers carry the fertile soil to the ocean. When we asked the people of Tibwa why there were not fruit trees planted around their house, John said, I'll tell you, it's very simple. Animals are on the loose. Then we asked, what if you planted a few fr fruit trees and then put up a little fence to protect them? He said, that's a great idea. I wish I could do that. There are actually people in the Bel Air section of Tibwa who have put this idea into practice. With a fence to keep animals out, Banan and fruit trees can be planted to have fruit by the house in a few years. Watering the trees with wastewater will help them grow quickly. The people in the village of Tibwa are changing the way they cook. We have just seen a suggestion of how fruit trees can be planted near their houses. Is it also possible the people of Tibwa can change the way they farm to protect the soil and bring fertility and trees back to the hillsides? Living terraces are an innovative way for farmers to protect soil on the hillsides, increase fertility, and provide a steady supply of branches to cook food. Using an A-frame, farmers can mark contour lines on their fields. These contour lines are guides for digging trenches which will capture water when it rains and allow the rain to soak into the soil instead of washing away. Tree seeds are planted below the trench. As the trees grow, they will hold the loose soil so it will not wash away. Any type of tree seed may be planted along this contoured trench. Most of the trees will be pruned to a hedge, but some trees can be allowed to grow higher to use for poles, boards, or to harvest fruit. This is a living terrace of Lucena after one month. Lucena is a legume species that fertilizes the soil by pulling nitrogen from the air and putting in it into the soil. Lucena is a plant animals like to eat. You can also plant moringa for people and animals. In only six months after planting the seeds, Lucena will be tall enough to prune. When you prune living terraces, the leaves decompose and become fertilizer, making the soil richer. Branches placed at the roots hold the soil from washing away. The pruned branches can be cut and carried and fed to animals. By carrying branches to the animals, you will also protect your garden soil and the living terraces. After the animals have eaten the leaves, the prune living terrace stems are a good size for cooking with a rocket stove. That is why we are encouraging people who use rocket stoves to plant living terraces. Farmers who plant living terraces on their gardens will find that their garden will increase in fertility. They will have tree stems to harvest throughout the year to feed their animals and to use for cooking. They will have a future with trees to provide for their families and trees to protect the soil of their mountainside gardens. 
The people of Tibois have joined together to build Tibois stoves. Now it is time to join together and plant trees and protect them from animals. Trees for themselves and trees for the future of Tibois. Gushulakai <laughs> 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 <laughs>